Beneath the surface of the ocean, a hidden world is alive with rapid clicks, echoes, and patterns of sound. These are messages exchanged between some of the largest and most intelligent creatures on Earth, whales, whose brains can be six times larger than our own. For centuries, we could only guess at the meaning of these sounds. But now, thanks to advanced AI, scientists are listening more closely than ever before, and what they're uncovering is nothing short of astonishing. Their discoveries are opening the door to an entirely new way of understanding how intelligent life forms communicate, not just in the ocean, but anywhere on our planet. For most of human history, the deep sea kept its secrets. Early sailors returning from long voyages would tell fantastic stories, tales of mysterious sea serpents and haunting songs that drifted up from beneath the waves. The eerie and beautiful calls of whales fascinated many, but to most people, these animals were simply giants of the sea, admired for their size yet misunderstood in their intelligence. For centuries, humans saw them as a resource, hunted for oil to light lamps, or for bones used in corsets. Their voices went largely ignored, until something happened that would change everything. In the 1970s, during a time of growing environmental awareness, scientists made a quiet but groundbreaking discovery. Researchers studying humpback whales began recording their underwater sounds and realized that these weren't random noises at all. They were long, intricate songs, changing and evolving over time, sometimes lasting hours. The recordings were so extraordinary that they were compiled into an album called Songs of the Humpback Whale. When the album was released to the public, it caused a sensation. People who had never given much thought to whales were suddenly captivated by the haunting beauty of their songs. The recordings sparked a global movement to protect these magnificent creatures, helping to pull them back from the edge of extinction. But for scientists, this was only the beginning. The more they studied whale sounds, the more questions they had. Early bioacoustics researchers, scientists who study animal communication through sound, worked with basic recording equipment, spending endless hours listening to tapes and trying to decode the meaning behind the clicks, groans, and melodies. Even then, they suspected there was much more to discover, but the technology to fully unlock the whale's language simply didn't exist. Until now. For years, scientists could hear whale songs but had no real idea what they meant. Some thought they might be mating calls, others believed they were distress signals, and some simply assumed they were a basic form of communication. But these were just guesses. The truth was, no one really knew. The challenge wasn't just the mystery itself, it was the overwhelming amount of sound data and the limits of human hearing and analysis. We could record the noises, but we didn't have the right tools to truly understand them. That began to change when Dr. David Gruber, an American marine biologist and National Geographic researcher, came up with a bold idea. He believed that to understand whales, scientists needed more than the traditional recording equipment used in the past. He looked for inspiration far from the ocean, in a field dedicated to searching for intelligent life in space, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI. SETI's mission is to listen for signals from the cosmos in hopes of one day detecting a message from another civilization. Dr. Gruber began to wonder, what if we had been searching for alien intelligence in the wrong place? What if another form of highly advanced life was living right here on Earth, in the form of whales, specifically humpback whales? This thought, which seemed almost like science fiction, sparked the creation of Project SETI, short for the Cetacean Translation Initiative. Dr. Gruber didn't just dream it up. He gathered an extraordinary team to make it a reality. This group included marine biologists, computer scientists, linguists, and robotics experts. Their goal wasn't simply to record whale sounds, but to attempt something never done before, start a real two-way conversation with another species. The team was unlike any traditional research group. It was a mix of experts from completely different backgrounds, united by the daring goal of decoding whale language. One of the key members was Shane Jero, a marine biologist who had spent over a decade studying a single family of sperm whales near Dominica in the Caribbean. His work wasn't just professional, it was deeply personal. He knew individual whales by name, had watched them grow, and understood their family bonds. His years of close observation became the foundation for Project SETI's research. Another game-changer for the team was modern AI, 
specifically natural language processing. In the past, the idea of translating whale communication was nearly impossible because technology couldn't handle the complexity of their sounds. But by 2019, advancements in computing made something revolutionary possible. Building an underwater recording studio capable of capturing and analyzing whale language at an unprecedented scale. The island of Dominica became the heart of the project. Its volcanic seafloor plunges into deep waters just offshore, making it an ideal place to study sperm whales, which often swim close to land there. Many of the same families return year after year, giving researchers a stable population to study. This was also where Shane Jero had already done much of his life's work, making it the perfect location to start. In 2020, Project SETI officially launched with $33 million in funding from the TED Audacious Project. This funding allowed the team to begin constructing a massive listening system, a 20-kilometer by 20-kilometer underwater network of recording devices off Dominica's coast. The goal was for AI to not only hear the whales but also identify which individual was speaking, who they were speaking to, and the context of the interaction. The work was a true partnership between field scientists and tech experts. Marine biologists provided deep knowledge of whale behavior, while computer scientists built tools capable of sorting and analyzing the enormous volumes of data. Together, they created a research method that had never been tried before, combining expertise from completely different worlds. One of their most important tools was a network of hydrophones, specialized underwater microphones, placed on the ocean floor. These sensors act like a giant, always-on recording studio, picking up even the faintest sounds around the clock. Arranged in a precise grid, they can pinpoint the exact location of each sound. This technology allows the team to capture every click, whistle, and call, tracking not just what the whales are saying, but also where and when each sound is made. It was the first real step towards something humanity has never achieved, translating the language of another intelligent species. Beneath the ocean, a hidden conversation has been going on for centuries. A rapid exchange of clicks between giant creatures whose brains are six times larger than ours. Using advanced AI, scientists are now listening to these sounds in ways that were never possible before, and what they are finding is beyond anything anyone expected. It's revealing a completely new way of understanding how intelligent life on Earth communicates. For most of human history, the ocean has kept its secrets. Sailors once returned from long voyages with tales of strange sea serpents and, more believably, the haunting songs of whales. These sounds were admired for their beauty but were never deeply understood. Whales were once hunted for oil and bones, valued only as resources rather than as intelligent beings. This perception began to change in the 1970s when researchers studying humpback whales recorded their vocalizations. What they found was shocking, the sounds weren't random at all but complex sequences that could last for hours and even evolve over time. These recordings became the album songs of the humpback whale, which captured public imagination and helped spark a movement that saved these animals from extinction. However, even with this breakthrough, scientists could only guess what the songs meant. Some thought they were mating calls, distress signals, or simple messages, but nobody knew for sure. The main problem was the sheer amount of data and the limits of human hearing. That changed when Dr. David Gruber, an American marine biologist and National Geographic researcher, had an idea. Inspired by the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, which listens for alien signals from space, he wondered if the alien intelligence we were looking for might already be here, in the form of whales. This led to the creation of Project SETI, Cetacean Translation Initiative, a team of marine biologists, computer scientists, linguists, and roboticists with one bold goal, to create a two-way dialogue with whales. One of the team's key members, Dr. Shane Jero, had spent over a decade studying a single family of sperm whales in Dominica, knowing them individually and tracking their lives. His deep knowledge, combined with cutting-edge AI technology, became the foundation of the project. With $33 million in funding from the Ted Audacious Project, they built a massive 20 square kilometers underwater listening system off Dominica's coast. Using a grid of hydrophones, underwater microphones, they could detect exactly which whale was making which sound. But they didn't stop there. Since whales couldn't wear microphones, 
the team deployed autonomous drones to attach non-invasive suction cup tags that recorded audio, movement, heart rate, and social behavior. This allowed them to link specific sounds to specific contexts, for example, whether a click was made during hunting or while socializing. Unlike earlier studies that recorded only a few hours of whale sounds, Project SETI gathered millions, even billions, of vocalizations, building the largest library of whale sounds in history. Feeding this vast dataset into advanced AI allowed the system to detect patterns invisible to the human ear. By converting sounds into spectrograms, visual charts, the AI could see whale language and begin identifying the distinct sequences of clicks called codas. Over time, the AI discovered that whale communication was far more complex than anyone imagined. It wasn't just a set of simple messages, it was a structured system, almost like a phonetic alphabet, using rhythm, tempo, and small changes called ornamentation to create meaning. Changing the speed or adding an extra click could completely alter a message. This shattered the idea that only humans had complex linguistic systems. Even more surprising was the discovery that whales' communication wasn't just about survival. The AI found patterns linked to social interaction, showing that whales hold conversations that reflect relationships, emotions, and group bonds. Subtle timing changes in the clicks, similar to musical rhythms, acted almost like vowels in human speech, adding shades of meaning. This work is bringing us closer than ever to truly understanding the language of another intelligent species on our own planet, and it's changing the way we think about communication, intelligence, and life itself. Scientists discovered that the way whales arrange their clicks, known as codas, can carry surprisingly complex meaning. A tiny pause, a slight change in rhythm, or a quickening of tempo could completely change what the message means. On top of that, little sound variations called ornamentations could shape these words to express different emotions or intentions. This showed that whale communication wasn't just about passing along simple messages. It was a sophisticated, flexible language system, challenging the old belief that humans were the only species capable of this kind of communication. The AI also revealed that whale language is closely linked to social identity. Different whale clans or extended families each have their own dialects, much like how humans from different regions might have unique accents. The AI could identify which family was speaking simply by detecting tiny differences in the clicks. This meant the language wasn't universal for all sperm whales. It was a living, evolving part of each clan's culture, passed down through generations. A single word could carry different meanings depending on the rhythm, the social setting, and the specific dialect. Thanks to AI and advanced technology, scientists now have a window into a rich culture beneath the waves, something humanity never knew existed. Being able to recognize and interpret these communication patterns has opened the door to studying whale social connections, group identities, and even their shared histories. This shifts the focus from simply translating sounds to truly understanding the lives and relationships of these marine giants. The next goal is even more ambitious, moving from listening to speaking. For decades, humans have only been silent observers of whale conversations. Now, Project SETI aims to use what the AI has learned to create messages in the whale's own language. The dream is to have a real-time underwater communication system something like a chatbot, but for whales. This wouldn't mean teaching whales English. Instead, it would mean playing sequences of clicks that the AI has identified as meaningful, then waiting for a response. The first steps would be simple, maybe a greeting or a sound referring to a specific object, to see if the whales answer back. But this goal also raises deep ethical questions. Should we be initiating conversations at all? Could human contact unintentionally change whale culture or language? The Project SETI team is careful about these concerns, aiming to ensure that any interaction happens on the whale's terms, in their own language, and without disturbing their way of life. In 2023, the team had a breakthrough moment. A diver, using a special underwater speaker, played a specific sperm whale coder that the AI had decoded. To everyone's astonishment, a whale in the area replied with the exact same coda. It wasn't random, it was a direct, intentional exchange between species. For the team, 
It was the first small step toward the possibility of a true two-way conversation with one of the most intelligent creatures on Earth. The moment when the whale replied to the diver's call was far more than just a recording. It was a true conversation, short but powerful. That single exchange proved that the scientists' understanding of the whale language was accurate enough to be used for basic communication. This wasn't just a technical success. It was a sign that we might one day be able to talk to other intelligent minds on our own planet. This changes everything. We're stepping into territory that once belonged only in science fiction. For the first time, we are moving from observing whales to directly interacting with them. Talking with another species is an enormous step for science, but its importance stretches far beyond the ocean. The technology behind this could reshape how we think about life and intelligence in the entire universe. For decades, marine biology and the study of animal intelligence were limited by our inability to truly understand what animals were saying to each other. We could watch their behaviors, but their thoughts and social lives remained hidden. Now, with AI as a translator, there's a new world of possibilities. This research allows scientists not only to learn about whale communities and their intelligence, but also to explore the deeper structures of their culture, something once thought to be impossible. It reveals that whale communication is complex, social, and meaningful, opening the door to understanding other mysteries in nature. Interestingly, the name Project SETI is a deliberate nod to SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. For years, scientists have listened for signals from space, hoping to detect alien life. But this work with whales suggests that the skills and technology we use to decode their language could also help us understand a completely unfamiliar alien signal, should we ever encounter one. The process of finding patterns, recognizing structure, and building meaning from an unknown language is universal. In a way, learning to talk to whales may also be preparing us for the day we meet another intelligent species, whether here on Earth or somewhere far away. At the same time, this work changes how we see whales themselves. For centuries, they were hunted for resources, then later protected out of a sense of responsibility, but always from a distance. Now, with a deeper understanding of their language, we can hear the concerns they have for their families, the bonds within their communities, and the depth of their culture. This knowledge makes it harder to see them as just animals. They are intelligent beings with feelings, history, and a unique place in the world. That realization strengthens the urgency of protecting them and the oceans they call home. The journey is only beginning. Project SETI plans to expand its research to other whale species, such as orcas, and to improve its AI with more advanced algorithms. This effort is part of a growing global movement where scientists are using AI to unlock the secrets of animal communication, revealing a hidden world of languages all around us. In the end, this work is about more than science. It's about building a bridge between species for a shared future on a shared planet. The whales have knowledge about the ocean's health and the state of our environment, and now we're finally learning how to listen.